Now, this ought to really be quite a powerful motivation for doing what's right, if you think about it. If you really believe, try and put yourself in the state of mind of somebody who really believes that if you do what's right, you will be uh, eternally rewarded in a blissful state in heaven, um, and if you uh, do something seriously wrong, you will be punished forever after in hell. Uh, for anyone with a decent kind of time horizon, you know, who doesn't just think short term, that ought to make a really big difference. And it is actually, I think, psychologically interesting, says something about human beings, that um, it doesn't seem to make a difference when you compare the behavior of religious people and non-religious people. If we compare today, for example, uh, those societies that are relatively more religious and those societies that are more secular, um, among industrialized nations, you need to hold things reasonably constant in other ways, so among industrialized nations, clearly the United States is a unusually religious for a modern industrialized nation, and Europe, with a couple of exceptions, maybe Poland and perhaps uh, still Ireland, um, is uh, much more secular. But um, uh, Europe is by many measures, I would say, a morally better society than the more religious United States. Certainly the murder rate is far lower. The number of people in prison is far lower. You would think, well, if people believe in, in eternal punishment, why do you need to threaten them with punishment here? But obviously you do. Um, although Jesus is reported, as I said, as saying that God will save those who fed the hungry, give and drink to the thirsty and clothe the naked, if you're weak and vulnerable, you'll be much better off in Europe, which generally has uh, a decent welfare service and uh, universal health coverage um, than you will be in the United States, which, of course, as you know, is still struggling to get universal health coverage. Um, when it comes to helping the poor as well, um, the record of almost all the European nations is far better than that of the United States. Uh, for example, Sweden, which is a relatively secular society, gives about four times as much in proportion to its gross national income as the United States. The United States has the highest juvenile, um, uh, uh, juvenile um, mortality rates, that is uh, death for, for young people, and um, uh, pretty much the shortest lifespans. It has the highest abortion rate, despite uh, opinion against abortion being much higher, according to uh, polls. Um, uh, highest abortion rates among democracies where abortion is legal, of course. And uh, the highest sexually transmitted disease infection rates and the highest teen pregnancy rates as well. And then, of course, we, uh, we're all familiar uh, with the fact that uh, we've had a lot of publicity in recent years about uh, not just Christians in general, but these religious leaders, uh, priests, uh, evangelical leaders and others, who are constantly talking about sin and yet seem to be unable to stop themselves from a wide variety of what they themselves consider to be the most vile kinds of sins for which they might well expect on their beliefs to be punished. So you have to assume that belief in hellfire is really not very efficacious in controlling behaviour.